Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a collective reading for the collective. Now, I already did one collective reading. It was for those that needed it, but this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go into the tarot on this particular reading. The last one, I did some oracles and, and it was just for encouragement for those that needed it. But this is going to be whatever spirit, you know, I don't know what's going to come out, but we about to see. So anyway... If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Let's jump right in. Let's see what Spirit got for you. All right, Spirit guys, ancestors, great divine. What is it that you have for the collective this morning? What is it that the collective needs to hear this morning? What is the message for the collective that they need to hear at this time? Spirit guys, ancestors, great divine. Shuffle. Shuffle them up real good. Told you y'all was going to see me every day. Y'all tired of seeing me yet? <laughs> All right, Spirit. What you got for the collective this morning? What is it that they most need to know? What is it that they most need to know, Spirit? Mm. That's too many. All right. Now, that's a little different. Okay. Okay, y'all got the lovers upright, the tower reverse, um, the page of pentacles upright, the six of swords reverse, and the nine of swords reverse. So I can already tell somebody wants to come back. I can see it. I can see it with the lovers. Somebody that you used to work with that you had some sort of partnership with, they want to come back. They're going to extend you a light message and they want to work on it they no longer want it to be stressful at all so let's see let's go okay spirit uh clarify the lovers let's see who this is and want to talk to you okay this is somebody that made you feel trapped and like you needed to protect yourself okay i see that Woo <laughs> yeah. not only was this somebody that made you feel trapped that you feel like you need to protect yourself from. But this is a partnership that you thought was toxic, honey. Because you got the Eight of Swords out here upright. The Nine of Wands upright with the devil? Honey, that, who, was, who was bothering you, honey? Somebody you thought was toxic. Somebody who might have been trying to control the situation. Give me one more for who this is. So some of y'all might have been dealing with a Capricorn. Ooh -wee. With that devil out here, this is somebody that you want to even give and take with, but you felt like you needed to release with that four of pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody you want to equal give and take, but you had to release it. Okay, so that's what I got for the lovers. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Okay, y'all. That's not what I was expecting. But yeah, they want to reverse the tower. So somebody you was in partnership with, they want to reverse the tower. Tell me about this tower spirit. In reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that made you feel like they had left you out in the cold, honey. And this is somebody you might have um, with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a, 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 a um, Earth. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Now she might, oh uh, yeah. Okay. And then, ooh. <sighs> you got the Queen of Pentacles upright, the Five of Pentacles upright, the Ten of Swords reversed with the Six of Cups. You feel like this, this revert. <sighs> Let me calm down. This is somebody who left you out in the cold, okay? This might have been somebody you looked out for, somebody that you thought you was going to climb to the top with, and you feel like returning to this situation, if you return to it, if you return to it, would just leave you, um, this past person would just leave you very unhappy and just bring heartache and despair and all 
all that is bad. That's what you feel like will happen. Okay, let's move on to the Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody who I know will want to send you a message. Clarify that Page of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Yeah, this is somebody you felt like you needed to heal from. Uh, with the Four of Swords in the upright. This is something that you decided that you no longer put build towards. So you try to put the final nail in the coffin. You try to just let it go, bury it, be done with it. But somebody does not want to do that. They feel like, yeah, they know that you feel like you had to heal your heart. But they want to come in and offer you some sort of love. They want to bring the situation back into control with the emperor here. Okay. All right, Spirit, clarify that Six of Swords in reverse. Remember I said this is somebody who wants to come back. So you, I see they definitely want to work on it, apologize, or do something because the Six of Swords is here in reverse. Clarify that Six of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to come in and give you something with this Ace of Pentacles. They want to bring in an offer. woo -wee. But you feel like the only thing they offering is the uh, King of Wands energy, honey. This is somebody who comes in very passionate. So you feel like they're just going to try to come in with passion. And that is probably not what you want because you feel like it's going to be manipulation. That this person is really just trying to get away with something. They're sneaky. They're cunning. They're, manipula they're manipulative. I always seem like they're trying to get away with something with the Seven of Swords. So to clarify about the Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Upright, Ace of Pentacles upright with the Seven of Swords. Okay. Hmm. All right, so we're going to clarify this Nine of Swords. All right, Spirit, what you got for the Nine of Swords? Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Gemini, or Libra. Clarify that Nine of Swords. Some of y'all have healed, but this person from your past, though, they what you're not planning on is that they don't want, like I said, they don't want it to be a stressful situation. They know y'all have had this ending, but they do want to come in with love and kindness. They don't want to have any um, ill intent, um, and that's just not something, you know, they never planned on y'all having this ending like this, and now they really want to come in and fix it um, and give to the situation. This is somebody who remembers when y'all could act childlike around one another. So they don't want to come in. Uh, you think they're going to come in and be manipulative, but they're really trying to say, no, I just really just want to extend some kindness to you. Um, and I never had a plan that this was going to be like this, like, th like it is. And I, I just don't want the stresses of it. I really don't like, I really want to heal the situation here. Okay, spirit, go ahead and give me the rest of the spread. And we're going to move on. Hold on, y'all. I got to mix these cards up real good because if not, sometimes the same cards will come out. So I, I always try to mix them up really, really, really good. Or shuffle them, I should say, really good. One more. Okay. I'm going to pull the rest of the spread and we're going to see what we got here. Yeah, this is somebody who is quickly, <laughs> they quickly want to change this after being, you know, putting some thought into it. Uh, you got a king of swords out here. I think I already told y'all about that. Um, so you got a king of swords. I already told you about your uh, air signs, your Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, 
and followed by the Knight of Swords. They quickly want to fix this. This is somebody who has thought about it. They quickly want to put it behind them. They want to return. They do not like that the stuff has dried up between y'all with this Ace of Cups in reverse. And they want good luck. They want to return things back to normal here with the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Now, they're going to come in with a small offer. They feel like they do not have a lot to offer you, though. However, right now with the Seven of Cups, they don't have a lot to offer. Um, and they know right now they do not like uh, whatever this is where they have to kind of be alone um, or away from you or that you're alone. They don't, they don't like that. But they don't have a lot to offer you at this time. They know that. They don't. So, um this is somebody who probably went off and did their own thing here, but um, there might be some sort of instability, especially after this ending with this four wands in reverse and the hair fine in reverse. They wanted to do their own thing or they so they thought they wanted to do their own thing and they thought that they wanted to end the relationship with you. But it does not seem like that is working out for them because they don't have everything they need. They are... Um, they, it's like they have few options. They have few options. They know that you do not see the partnership as one that was beneficial with that Six of Cups in reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. They know that you want to release this because you look at it in a certain light that is not very positive. Okay, Spirit, what else can you tell me? Yeah, they see that you are closed off too with that Four of Cups and that Hermit, honey. They see very clearly you... You, you looking at all the cups that's spilled, but they still think y'all got a cup or two that is still um, available. But see, but they know that you look at them differently now. Do you look at them as manipulative? Yeah, they, they know. They know you wanted some equal give and take, honey. Yeah, but they want to come out the cold, honey, and heal this. So they want to give you something, even though they can't offer you much. Um, they can't offer you much, but they're going to try. In a way, though, clarify this Seven of Swords. Yeah, they want to let, they want, their goal is to get you to quickly let your guard back down. They do not <laughs> like your guard up. Nobody. Mm -hmm, they want you to come back, honey. So whatever they got to do to get you to come back. Trust and believe they're going to say it. They want to message you with this page of swords in reverse. They do not want this to be over. They want you to let you quickly let your guard back down. So they are looking at ways. Listen, they are going to try to manipulate the situation to get their way. Because they don't like you being in that four of cups energy. They don't. They don't want, they want to come out of the cold. They want to heal it. They, they just do not like this at all. At all. Yeah. Okay, Spirit, what else do you got for me? Mm -hmm, too many. Yeah, this is somebody who really... <clears throat> they Listen, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is somebody who does not want to necessarily be in their independent energy. This is somebody who wants to get attached. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's like, now it looks like they want to be attached. Now they want to come in and offer you something with this. Uh, okay, so you got the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Pentacles upright, the Emperor upright, Justice upright, Ten of Pentacles. So somebody is like, oh no, I want that happy family with you. I want to balance the scales with you. I want this to be, con they trying to, they trying to be strategic. They are trying to control the situation. They are going to come in with an offer because now they act like they want to be attached after detaching from you. Why do they want this so bad? Now they want to heal it. Now they want to bring in justice. Now they want to come in out the cold. They really, now they're trying to figure out how can they offer you something even though they don't have much to offer. They ain't got enough to offer you no equal give and take. But they're trying to be strategic and how to get you to get them. How can I get you to do something here? What kind, what can, what do I need to do? How, they are going to be manipulative though. Whatever offer they bring, it is on some manipulation. They want something. What do they want, spirit? What does this person want? 
They want to come out the cold for something. What do they really want? Let's talk about it. Somebody has had to walk away. And when you walked away, they got stressed. Yeah, they just want you to come back. But it's really because they want to put they want to have you under their control. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is somebody who's been sitting down. <laughs> they think they got a plan. They think they got a plan with the hangman in reverse. Yeah, and they quickly getting ready to try to implement this plan on getting you to come back and return. That it's not over. Yep. Again, messages. They're going to come in with a, a, a couple of nice messages or so they think. Oh, goodness. They do not like that the passion one has dried up between y'all. They, they must have really enjoyed that because, honey, that is dried up. They don't like that. So they want to bring, they want to restore hope to the situation. They see you out here shining like a diamond, honey, with the star. They want to balance things out. Yeah, they feel like you taking enough time by yourself, healing and thinking and all of that. So now they want to come in with the Queen of Swords. They want to uh, fix it. Some of y'all, though, might have been dealing with a uh, fire sign, Aerie Leo Sag, Emperor Leo, Heavy Leo. Virgo, mm. yeah, they don't want any chaos and conflict. They have really been thinking, honey, how can they come out the cold? How can they restore hope? How can we balance this thing out, honey? Yeah, they don't like it. They feel trapped and in. Listen, they do not want to feel trapped and all up in their head. They want to get out of whatever little mental prison they call themselves being. So if they got to manipulate this just a little bit with the magician, they're going to do it. Because they do not like that this is ended. They don't. So they are going to be, they, gonna, they are going to manipulate the situation. Mm hmm Just a little bit. They do not like this. Hmm. Clear about that King of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody. This King of Wands just wants to grow. He might be being manipulative because he's in reverse, but now he's he is trying to he want to work with you and grow something. He wants to heal it. He wants to restore faith. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous to me because it's like, why do people do this? Now it's the full reverse. They don't want to have a new start or you not show them. They don't want there to not be a new start or you not to show them no love. They really want this. Yeah. So they're going to come in with a small offer. So get ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't they don't like that you uh water sign is out here with this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this person does not like they just don't like that you seem like you just don't want to give to in it anymore. You don't want to give any more love to it. So they're gonna come towards you with a small offer. Yeah, they don't like this stuff stop growing. That's what you did not see. Is that they they really don't like that things aren't growing between the two of you all? Yeah, they feel like now they feel like you they wish fulfillment. So now they want to talk to you with this high priestess in reverse. They want to talk to you. Let's see here. This is ridiculous. Now they feel like you know, you strong, you've been carrying the burdens by yourself um, without any mercy. So now they want to come in with love and give you some recognition that they feel like you so deserve. So they want to communicate. They think that they can have victory and success on getting you to let down your guard after this ending. And they're very confident that they can fix it. But you got to let your guard down. Mm -hmm. But keep remembering though. They still ain't got everything they need and they might be trying to manipulate the situation, but they definitely want to work on it after one of y'all or both of y'all done walked away from the situation. Hmm, child. 
So it is heavy in the energy that somebody want to come back, come back, come back. Be careful. I think I said it yesterday and it's coming out again today. Somebody wants to come back. They're on some manipulation. Somebody trying to manipulate. But they do want to come out the cold. Okay, y'all. Let's pull some love oracles. Spirit, can you give me some love oracles on uh, the situation for the collective? Can you please give me some love oracles for the collective on the situation? Ooh. Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. Some of the cards look like they was up. Hold on. What can you tell me about this situation for my collective? They want you to know that I like you. Someone likes you. They want to flirt. They want to date. Sunglasses. Somebody been watching you. Stalking you. They, they focus, somebody is definitely focused on you. They want to tell you how much they like you. And um, they want to date you. Expect a love call. Somebody who wants to call you and express their love. Messages of love. Letting you know that they're thinking about you. This is a runner-chaser dynamic. Somebody is a chaser in a codependent relationship. They have a fear of abandonment or an abandonment issue. This is somebody with golden mirror. This is somebody who is very self-absorbed, a narcissist. You might have felt like you was in a one-sided relationship. Prepare for the love bomb. I think we talked about that yesterday. Not enough. Somebody is frustrated in a relationship. They lack confidence um, because they keep self-sabotaging, letting fear or ego issues or jealousy get in the way. Twin flames. This might have been your twin flame, yin gang. Normally, this is supposed to be a good a relationship that complements each other, but somebody feels like it's... They with a healing heart that they need to heal from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addi or addiction, coughing. Woo! Somebody feel like this is ending, but they feel like this ending is gonna bring y'all a new beginning or change. Somehow it's gonna transition y'all's relationship into something better, I guess. And look, but one of y'all said, "Not today. I'm not dealing with this hurt. I'm avoiding the conversation. Call a person. Somebody still got their boundaries up because they still angry." At the bottom of the deck, we have clock. Somebody needs to take time. Oh, needs time. Needs time, takes time, in cycles, time to heal, progress. So somebody's still in the, uh, taking time to heal. And at the top of the deck, we have date. Again, somebody wants to date you. Uh, someone new, getting back out there, playing, set a date. Yeah, somebody is very sad about this separation. They're missing you, thinking about you. They're yearning for you and they're unsure of the future. Um, but somebody feels like with cassette, they have outdating thinking. But somebody has been definitely replaying the events of what happened in their head over and over again. Um, but they definitely want to meet up with Coffee Cup for a conversation. Somebody is desperately wanting to talk to you all. Heartbroken. Somebody is def definitely deeply hurt and sad over this separation or breakup. And they just feel lost. Like they've just been grieving since you have departed i'm not giving my opinion y'all do what y'all want all right y'all that's all i got for you today for the collective message somebody wants to talk to you now you can do what you want you got free will baby This video will be a little bit shorter than normal, but I'm going to give y'all just a couple of what's the tea. And then we're going to go. Spirit, can I get some what's the tea? Not that many. We ain't going to do a whole lot like we normally do. What's the tea on this relationship for the collective? What's the real tea about what's going on in this relationship, Spirit? What is the real tea? Last one.
jackpot. Somebody might be getting ready to win some money. Good, some sort of un inheritance or unexpected money is getting ready to come. Somebody has definitely been stalking, watching, and obsessed with watching you. I don't know how they're watching you, but they are. Somebody looks like they have been fishing for comments. They need to hear something. Cyber bully, get ready. If you ain't, somebody might get ready to start cyber bullying you online. Um, or there has, or they have suffered from it. So somebody might be trying to cyber bully you, get the inside scoop. Somebody's taking a cl closer look at you. They all up in your business, creeping. Dog, look, cyber bully, stalking, and inside scoop. Who the, somebody is watching you, honey. Be careful. Be careful. Impersonator. Somebody want to be just like you, act like you, dress like you, look like you, copy you. Mm. Somebody though they called a case. They got a sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, or something. And then there's a card that came out that says ain't shit. What else you got, spirit? This is the T for y'all. Somebody though is running from the uh, connection. Yeah, somebody feel like y'all are a karmic. They can't trust you. Uh, attention. There's secret competition here. It did say somebody has been watching you, trying to act like you, be like you, stalk you, cyber bully you, something. So keep your friends closer, your enemies closer. Somebody feels like this whole situation is just played out and that might be why they are running because they feel like this ain't shit. Somebody though is getting ready to threaten you. They feel intimidated or threatened or bothered by this and somebody is looking at you as a boss daddy, boss mama, honey. You are stable, rich, a business owner. CEO, or you are in that big D energy. Uh, somebody is unfazed and ignoring the whole thing, and they feel like this is a waste of time. So one person is watching, watching, watching. The other person is unfazed, ignoring. They feel like this is a waste of their time. Somebody ain't shit. They running from it. They feel like this is played out. And at the bottom of that, we got love triangle. Third party, multiple lovers, lots of choices. And at the top, somebody feels like they are getting ready to marry for money. So once somebody might be getting ready to go on a trip, somebody is haunted by how they did you. They got memories, flashbacks, trauma. Somebody is wants somebody to give them some money. And again, somebody ain't shit and been talking it. Somebody wants to kiss your ass. Somebody is a spiritual hater. They hate on your spirituality, your light, your magic, your power. That is ridiculous. If your light is irritating a demon, they are truly a hater. If you hate the light, something is wrong with you. How you hate on somebody else's spirituality? God can do the same thing, my goodness. But people just, I don't know. Anyway, somebody feels like somebody is a drama starter, that they got bad habits, drug addictions, toxicity, drinking problems. Somebody wants to move on. It keep coming out. Somebody else has moved on. And somebody else is watching and doing the most. And then somebody else, again, uninterested because somebody's always out here partying now i said i won't pull that many cards but i gave it to you so the video could be at least close to 30 minutes all right y'all that's all i got for you here on i am the light if you enjoyed this reading today please hit that like share and subscribe hit that notification bell you know when i upload if you're interested in personal readings all that will be down in the um if it's not in the description box because i might have put it in the wrong place look at the about and it'll tell you about my channel. It'll tell you about, you know, personal readings and how to get one. And if you enjoyed it, like I said, hit that like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye, baby.